Why is that? I feel like I need to like bend the top. There we go. <laughs> Perfect. Thanks. It was all I could see. I really did need your help today, so this is great. Actually, it's gonna be useful. All right, ready. I'll kind of take you a little behind the scenes today and show you uh, what we're up to. But yeah, we're decked out in uh, Christmas stuff around the house, as you can see. Stop doing social. <laughs> we're filming a webisode, like about decorating a tree. Decorating a tree. <laughs> No one's ever done it before. <laughs> Gonna blow some minds. Okay, it's tree time. I'm so excited. One of my favorite days of the year when the kids are at school, everything's quiet, and I can put all the ornaments on the tree. This is the pretty tree in our house. I do another tree in the basement that has all of our family handmade ornaments and I let the kids it's like the fun tree. do whatever they want on that tree. And then this one is mom's tree for everyone. <laughs> Non-breakables, breakables. Breakables. I have this really pretty McGeeanco tree to start with. I love the shape and that it just feels very natural. When I am decorating a tree, I set a base with all of the items that are pretty uniform that go all over the tree. So this year I am doing these little candle clips. So, so we're just gonna start putting those all over the tree and then making sure that they're just balanced throughout. So that's step one. While you're doing the clips, I'm going to start tying the ribbon on. So I always start with ribbon or garland. So set the base with the things that go all over the tree. I'm trying to set the base. Set the base. I feel like I should stagger them. I usually swap out my ribbon every couple of years. This one is from um, last year and it's really nice because it's already cut. If I was starting fresh this year, what I would do is I would do a test bow, measure that length, and then I'd go through and I would just cut 100 bows. And uh, then it makes it faster when I'm placing them all over. Now you wanna make sure that you tie the knot so that, and wrap the bow so that you get both loops and the tails, all the pretty side of your ribbon. Took the words right out of my mouth, babe. <laughs> they used to do these with real candles, didn't they? Yeah. That's so gnarly. Very dangerous. It's gonna be Merry fun for Christmas. holidays. Just light the whole tree on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Usually, we like don't start till later at night, and then we stay up really stay late. Up. Yeah. Well, that was when I could handle staying up late. I'm now a softie and I just go to bed early. Softy or old, I don't know, just. I think I'm soft and old. <laughs> I'm old. My kids are like, what's that sound when I get up? And they're like, oh, my, my knees, guys. Just my knees. Skateboarding is really good for your knees. <laughs> <laughs> Man, when I was younger, I was like, I'm never gonna get old. I'm not doing that. Sit this down here. Look, this area through here could use a candle or two. Oh, okay, yeah. I don't want to say I'm the best in the house at doing this, but I'm probably in the top two. <laughs> <laughs> What's the technique, Sid? Let the Christmas spirit take over. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna... You okay? Sorry. Oh, you're good? Yeah. I maybe okay. pulled the ladder. <laughs> for one of you. Not the first time. <laughs> Here, I get I can get that. Okay. Cool. <laughs> wow. Okay, so we've got our candles. Do you not want me to say that on a blue ladder? Maybe? I don't know. Realized that after I was talking on the ladder. Okay, now I'm talking bubbles. Hold on. 
the candles are in a wobble, then you can talk wobble. There we go. Okay. <laughs> so after I've done the candles. I did the candles. <laughs> after the candles have been done by me. After I do the items all over, like garland or candles, I'm stepping on you. <laughs> oh. I was stepping on you while you were trying to do your lines. You were stepping you on literally me. Stepped. After I do the things that go all over, like garland, candles, bows, then I move on to what we call bobble ornaments, round ornaments in a color palette. So this year I have this really beautiful uh, color palette with browns and blue velvets. These flocked ornaments will um, go with ornaments that I have collected over the years. So I have some metallic, some mercury glass, and I think that they all go together. So we're gonna test it out and I'm just gonna place them all over the tree. And then from there is when I'll add in my ornaments that um, have different shapes. Good. So let's start with these. Oh shoot, I forgot. This year I got tinsel and I'm really excited about it and I'm gonna put it all over the tree. And I was looking at images and sometimes people decorate their whole tree and then they just cover the whole thing in tinsel and then it looks like some people put it on and then they do the ornaments after that. I feel like I don't wanna cover my tree in tinsel. I'd rather start with the tinsel. Okay, well strike that from the record before Bobbles. We're doing tinsel this year. This is my first year doing tinsel. It was really so popular. Uh, a long time ago. So <laughs> there, I was looking back and there are images from like the, it looks like even like the thirties, like early 1900s where tinsel was popular. Then I think it was cool again in the fifties and sixties. Now we're back, I think. I don't know, I'm just making this up. Just making this up as I go along. But None tinsel. Of this is historically <laughs> accurate. <laughs> this is historically I'm just saying accurate. generally, okay? A general accounting of But history. I know I like, I know I'm excited about the look and that it differentiates my tree from previous years. I always like to look for a few new ways to shake it up. So this year it's tinsel. Can I do some? Sure. It does look so fun. <laughs> it focus in your hair. <laughs> Okay, so what I'm finding is you can't let it bunch. You can put a couple of them together, but then like any more than this, then it starts to look like stripes. So make sure you're not having fun with it. <laughs> you know, you're having fun and then you're not you're probably doing it wrong. Are you bunching the tents? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Are you doing it on every branch? All the big ones I am. The ones that are pretty But I kind of feel like I might continue to add an ad because yeah. it looks cool, yeah. but I'm... Where's the line? Yeah, where's the line? The line is when you say, that looks like too much to me. <laughs> <laughs> and then you have to take it off. <laughs> it's kind of one of those things where up close to you're like, I don't know what, I don't know if this is looking good, but I hope it turns out. From back there, it really looks so cool. Does it look good? Okay. Yes. It's kind of like, there's a point of no return with tinsel, and I was feeling a little nervous because this is my first year, but I'm feeling good. Can you fit right here, Sid, in this spot? Oh gosh. Not that much. Sorry, right, just on one foot balancing on that. <laughs> Perfect, babe. That's great. It looks so pretty. I think we're there. It just looks really nice. We found the right balance. Okay, now the ornaments. There's tinsel everywhere. I love that you're like somewhat surprised that there's tinsel everywhere. So when I'm putting the bobble ornaments on, I like to do a mix of bringing them to the edges of the tree, but then also putting some in the back so it looks fuller when it's finished. It looks like it's like flying through space. You know, like that wasn't really the compliment I was looking like, for, but um. <laughs> your designs are out of this world, babe. <laughs> I am now kind of just starting to add everything that I can to the tree and um, making sure that um, the shapes and spacing works well together. Chase's favorite Christmas song is Santa Baby. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what is your favorite Christmas song, babe? 
Um, one of my favorites is Run Run Rudolph. Oh, that's a good From one. M. Ward. I love a Frank Sinatra Christmas album, though. I love. Kids love the Casey Musgraves. Oh, I do like the Casey Musgraves Christmas one, too. Have you a No, I need some music on. Oh, Mary. Oh, oh gosh. You can't have the music on though, Sid, with the uh, with the mics. You can't have fun with the no fun. I forgot no fun. <laughs> Your favorite Christmas movie? I love White Christmas. White Christmas, the great one. And Elf. And Elf. I took mine. Home Alone's good though. Home Alone, original. Classic. Do you do a star this year? At the end. Yeah. Or no star because the whole tree is like a star. Star. So shiny. No, I need a star. Okay. Okay, you want to put that one over there? Yeah. Does that look like a mix? A little bit? What's your favorite Christmas treat, Shay? My what? Favorite Christmas treat. Treat? Yeah. Ooh, the crinkle cookies. Oh, crinkle cookies, bomb. You have to make sure you take a breath before you put them close to your mouth. Because one time I sucked all the powdered sugar and then I <laughs> coughed and I blew it all over my sweater. Okay, start time. So I've gone through all the layers, the foundational pieces like the candles and the bobble ornaments and the bows. This year I really wanted to actually avoid bright whites and creams because I wanted it to feel a bit moody. And so I stuck with um, a little bit darker tones and antique mercury glasses and brass. And I have a collection of tree toppers that I've gathered over the years. So I've narrowed it to two and I am going to hold up and try to decide. The big moment. Option one, this guy. Does that feel tall? I feel like I need to like bend this over or something. Okay, so option one or Never get the star to stay straight. Two? Okay. Great. Okay. Ta da! Thanks for your help. That's really good. Okay. Bye, babe. When you get back, I'll still be working on the tree, so it's fine. <laughs>